episode 3,298, take the plunge toward your dreams. Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day. I hope your week is off to a fabulous start. It's hard to believe that, yes, it's another week. It's the first full week of February. And that means we've got Valentine's Day around the corner. We've got, oh my goodness, well, the Pro Bowl happened, but we'll leave that for another episode because honestly, I was a little disappointed. But today, it's all about your mindset and leadership. Where are you leading your dreams? It's time to take the plunge toward your dreams. For those of you who are brand new to Create Your Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy, Everyday Solutions, to live, love, and impact. This episode is brought to you by AIM, inspiring connection and community. And you know, AIM is going to be opening up very, very soon. So stay tuned right here on the podcast. Also sign up for the newsletter. We are also revamping createyournow.com. There are so many moving parts right now. It's so exciting. And I think probably that's why I was inspired to write this episode to truly take the plunge toward your dreams because often the desire to fulfill our dreams and achieve our goals becomes tangled in the web of uncertainty and doubt. We begin to question ourselves so much. Do you drop your dreams or do you take that plunge toward your dreams? And a lot of times, you know, we hide how we really feel in our everyday lives by pretending to be someone we're not. You know, we hide in shame. We're embarrassed by the lack of accomplishments or accolades. It's like, gosh, I didn't, you know, get that degree that I feel like I should have. But you're doing okay, right? You didn't have to have a degree. But at some point, we think sharing our stories will make everything better. But embracing vulnerability is harder to do than to say. You know, we think, oh, gosh, yeah, I, I want to do this. And so I'm going to talk about it. But then when I start talking about it, it's like, no, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull back. And so in order to maintain this facade of perfection, like we've got it all together, we get stuck or we claim to be stuck because it's easier not to do rather than to do. And we just hide out there and we pretend it's the kid's fault or the spouse's fault or the financial part of it where, you know, we don't have enough finances. Whatever your excuse land is, you live there and you stay stuck. And you're like, yeah, my dreams, my goals, oh, maybe, maybe I'll lose weight. Uh, I'll wait. There'll be a better season for that. You know, maybe in a couple months when I, when I know like bathing suit season's around the corner. Or, you know, maybe I really want to start saving money up for our dream home. We've been living in this home for like 20 years, but we really want to build. What does that look like? Uh, well, you know, eventually we'll start putting funds away. But right now we've got to keep putting it into the house. I, I want a new car. I want this. Maybe you want to write a book. And you're sitting there going, yeah, I've got this story I want to share. And it's a part of who I am. But man, I just, I don't have the time to sit down. I, I can't write 500 words a day. I just, I, I don't know. I've got the dinner dishes and dogs and I'm kind of running here and there everywhere. Now, some would eventually suggest that the mindset is key to moving forward, right? It's, it's what we think about, we bring about. And so if we're always telling ourselves that we're stuck, will we stay stuck? But how can you move forward when you're only looking backward? Something that might have been a comeback continues to be a setback. That rear view mirror. It's like you're driving that way all the time. When will this nightmare ever end? When will it go away? At what point can you take the plunge toward your dreams? My friend, you got to get gutsy. That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Get gutsy. And most of the time, we want to know what the end results are before we even try. We want to know that, yes, I'm going to be a New York Times bestselling author. Yes, I can go back to school and become a doctor, a lawyer, a counselor, social worker, whatever it is for you. Yes, I can go and build my dream home. And I don't have to worry about anybody else's stuff. I just want to deal with my stuff and my dreams, what I would put in my house. I can have everything fresh. I don't have to live, you know, in this 25-year-old house that's only giving us problems. What is it for you? Are you trying to figure out the guarantee before you're even willing to try? Because my friend, there is no guarantee in life. None whatsoever. Life is not fair. In fact, it's very unfair. And what you think you deserve maybe is not what you get handed to you. 
And that's not saying you're a bad person. That's just the reality of where you are. And then we haven't even factored in life happening called bills, medical, right? Where Wherever your health lies or your family's health. You haven't factored in kids and the decisions that they make and the activities and who they hang out with. I mean, life just gets complicated. And then you're like, well, where do I compromise? So I guess I just compromise on me. It's all right. Take the plunge toward your goals, toward your dreams. But in order to do that, you got to get gutsy. And you've got to be willing to say, gosh, I don't have to have the end result. I don't need to know that part of it. But I can jump right now. I can jump in the deep end. And I know, I know I'm going to come back up. I don't know what it'll look like, what I'll, you know, hit along the way. Maybe there's a rock at the bottom. I might stub my toe a little bit. I may come up and there may be some algae on the surface and all that may get all wrapped around me. It may cover my eyes a little bit. I may be scared, but you know, I I get that out of my eyes. Okay, move on next. Maybe there's a little snake that decides to come out because, you know, I jumped in the deep end. I'm in a lake right now, by the way. And so you can look at all these possibilities of what could go wrong, but let me challenge you with this. What could go right? What is it? I mean, are you one that says, I'm only going to look at the negative. I, I only can see this because if I look at the positive, then, well, I may just go off the deep end for sure because nothing is impossible. You're right. Nothing is impossible. And you're right that it's not going to come easy. You got to put the work in. You don't need to know where everything's going before you get there. Sometimes you just got to get gutsy. Are you ready to do that? Well, number one, G, get started. Taking the first step is crucial. Often fear and overthinking can hold us back from pursuing our dreams. It takes guts to overcome those barriers and get started. So start with a small action or task that will set you on a path towards your goals. Breaking the inertia and initiating momentum is progress, right? That's the key to progress. You can't move a vehicle unless if it's moving, right? So you can't redirect yourself. You can't pivot unless if you're moving yourself. One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. Are you willing to take that one step, the little step to be you? Get started. Number two, you, unwavering belief. You have got to believe in yourself and your dreams wholeheartedly. You have to have more belief in them than anybody else around you. Yes, that includes your spouse, your mom, your dad, your siblings, your BFF, even your puppy dog. You've got to have that belief that I know, I know this is where I'm supposed to go. But be willing to make the shifts if you need to right? There's nothing set in stone, but if you have that unwavering belief, then you can cultivate this unshakable self-confidence. And it then becomes this firm belief that you can achieve what you set out to do. Even in the face of challenges and setbacks, it takes guts to stay committed and unwavering in your belief. So trust in your abilities and keep faith in your vision. Believe in who you are becoming. Get started. Got to have unwavering belief. Number three, T, take risks. Taking calculated risk is essential, truly essential for growth and success. And that doesn't mean you go off the deep end and you empty out your savings for everything. But you may have to spend money in order to make money, right? Or to be successful, whatever that is. I don't know where you are. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just you just need to persevere, But a lot of times our dreams require some investment and that return on investment is going to come from you taking those calculated risks. And yeah, sometimes we lose some money, but sometimes we win a lot more. It's not just about the money, it's the hearts. Of course, you've got to be responsible I'm not sitting here telling you that you go and you, you know, sell everything that you own, sell your house and all of this, unless if God's telling you that, but that's not for me to tell you. You've got to discern that with him. You've got to discern what those risks are. You've got to find those trusted advisors and talk to them and say, you know, what would you do in my position? Where would you go? 
It takes guts to step outside of your comfort zone and embrace uncertainty. Be willing to explore uncharted territories. Try new approaches and seize opportunities that come your way. If there's a crack in the door, go ahead, push it open just a little bit. There's not necessarily going to be a monster on the other side. And if there is, face it. Face it head on. And if for some reason you're not supposed to walk through that door, I believe that door will be slammed in your face. And you'll know I'm not supposed to go that way. Like for me, I always take everything to prayer. I just do. That's who I am. Now you have to do what's right for you and how you lead your life. But to me, I go to God. I say, Lord, come on. I need to know this. And when the door opens wider and wider, I'm like, okay, well, it just keeps opening up. And I'm walking through it. And I just pray, Lord, that when I'm supposed to not go through that door, you will slam it in my face. You will rise something up within me to know that I'm not supposed to go this direction. So embrace challenges as chances to learn and grow, knowing that calculated risks often lead to extraordinary achievements. All right, so it's miles of greatness. That's the path that you're on, but it takes a one step. Number four, S, stay persistent. Persistence is a key to overcoming obstacles and achieving long-term goals. It takes guts to keep going when faced with setbacks, rejections, or slow progress. You know, when you have the CRAP in life, yeah, the challenges, rejections, adversities, and problems. When you are looking at that and you're going, oh man, gosh, I, I just, oh, it'd be so much easier just to not worry about it and not do it. And it's easier to quit than it is to pursue Did you hear me? It's easier to quit than it is to pursue. But let me tell you, that worth pursuing takes persistence. So stay committed to your dreams and put in consistent effort. Develop that resilience, learn from failures, and keep pushing forward with determination and endurance in the face of adversity. Because life isn't easy. Life is unfair. And if it comes easy, man, that's a big question mark for me. Big question mark. I'd be questioning everything if it all comes easy. Now, if I could win the Powerball, well, that's for another episode. Things wouldn't come easy, but it would be easier to do some things, right? Because the finances would be there. Get started. You got to hold on to that unwavering belief. Take risks. Stay persistent. And finally, number five, why? Yield to growth. You know, a gutsy individual recognizes the importance of continuous personal and professional growth. And yielding to growth requires embracing a mindset of learning, open-mindedness, mind, right? That, that mindfulness as to, yeah, okay, I know this is happening. Do I continue? Is it, are these the thoughts that I need? Is it adding to my day or is it taking away? And adaptability. Are you flexible? Are you able to, you know, make those shifts and pivots that you need to? It takes guts to acknowledge areas for improvement, to seek feedback. Man, that's one thing I don't like. I really don't. When you ask somebody, somebody that you trust, a mentor, and then they say, well, are you open to feedback? And you're like, uh... And you're like, no, I probably really don't want it, honestly. We don't want to know always the truth, but you've got to seek the truth. So seek that feedback and actively pursue opportunities for personal growth and development. Allow God to stretch you, to mold you. Become who God wants you to become. And that means you're going to be uncomfortable. That means you're going to have to make decisions that you've never had to make before. That means that you may be sitting or losing sleep because just things are stirring in your head and in your heart. And you're like, I just can't shake this. Be open-minded to learning and embracing new challenges. You can achieve remarkable growth that propels you towards your goals and dreams. But it takes you being willing to say, yes, I yield to growth, meaning you're not going to fight it. You say, yes, I'm willing to do what I need to do. Sometimes in order to achieve our dreams and reach for those goals that we're really going for, we got to learn this tough stuff. 
Sometimes it requires us to go back to school. Sometimes it means learning new technology. Sometimes it means sitting there and going, oh my gosh, like I have to keep doing this over and over and over again because I don't get it. I'm too old for this. No, you're not too old for this. It just takes a little bit more effort. Harness the courage, my friend, to step out of your comfort zone. Get off that recliner. Get out of the couch, right? Make another butt mark somewhere else. Like seriously, challenge your limits. If you're sitting here putting expectations and limitations on yourself, you're your worst enemy. Unlock your full potential. Allow God to lead you. Within you lies the power to transform your dreams into reality. The possibilities are endless when you have the courage to take the first step. One step at a time leads to miles of greatness. It's the road called nothing is impossible. But it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen because you will it. It doesn't happen because it's easy. It happens because you put in the work, you put in the effort, you put in the energy. You take the plunge toward your dreams. Remember, your journey doesn't require you to have all the answers or to know exactly where you're headed. It only demands that you take that leap of faith to trust in yourself, who you are becoming, and embrace the beauty of the unknown. Beauty from ashes. Beautiful thing. My friend, life is a magnificent adventure waiting to unfold. Every day, every day is an adventure. Our family motto, I don't know that we actually ever voted on it, but this is what I call it and I say it all the time. It's a party every day. Literally with five kids, now two grandbabies. Our daughters are either married or dating, seriously. Our boys are kind of figuring out life and getting their careers going and they're finding their true loves. They're doing what they need to do. It's a party every day. I don't know what tomorrow brings, but I know tomorrow becomes today. And I don't sit around going, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to wait for something to happen before I'm ready. No, I ready myself now so I can respond to what happens. It's an adventure. So instead of allowing uncertainty to hinder your dreams and goals, remember that you don't need to know everything before you get there. Embrace vulnerability, embody a growth mindset, that abundance mindset that says, yes, nothing is impossible. Go forward with determination and endurance and cultivate a sense of adventure. Take the plunge and you'll discover that the journey itself is where the magic lies. Are you ready? Are you ready to do it? Come on, I know you are. Make February, because you know what? It's a leap year, right? Come on, take the leap. We get 29 days. We get an extra 24 hours. You can't tell me you don't have enough time now because God just gave you 24 more hours. Woohoo! This is the month to make a difference. And I know for me, that's what I'm working on. Like I told you earlier, man, there's lots of things happening at Creature now. There are so many moving parts. I've even had really good close friends say to me, Christiane, I don't know how you're doing all this. Like, I don't know when you sleep. I don't know how you do this. And we've got stuff happening with family, serious stuff. My daughter's in-laws were in a very serious head-on collision. And the dad-in-law is still in the hospital as I'm recording this. Mom-in-law was released. So I had to make some shifts and pivots, and now I need to help them. I need to be um, more available for my daughter and son-in-love for what they're doing in their life because, you know, my daughter's in-laws cannot do it anymore, and, and that's no fault of theirs. It's just where we are. But then I've got all this other stuff happening. I've got kids that are, you know, are going to be graduating in May. I'm like, oh my goodness, I got five, five kiddos, right? Three of them are graduating in May. It's crazy craziness. And we've got our adorable grandbabies. I've got a book in the process. It's going to be sent off here to the publisher very soon. I I pray they accept it. I'll keep you posted. We're revamping the website and what we have. We're growing now. This week alone, we're opening up on another TV broadcasting with Inspiration TV. We're going global. We're going to be seen in over 200 countries. 
That's not me doing this. That's us doing it. We're a family. And then we're opening up AIM, and I'm sitting here scratching my head going, I want to bring everybody together. I want to create this community. And AIM is the gathering place. And really it's where, you know, createyournow.com is, is that table where everybody comes in, where I can serve you well to the best of my ability to help you live the life and to love your journey and impact the world that you touch. Live, love, impact. We weren't meant to do life alone, but let me tell you, sometimes you do, you feel that way, right? But I'm here to encourage you today to take the plunge toward your dreams. What is it? Maybe it's coming home from the corporate world and being a stay-at-home mom. That's totally different. That's totally exciting. Borrow my phrase. It's a party every day because it's going to be a party every day. It's different dealing with little ones versus older adults. I'm just saying. It's a totally different world. Maybe you're looking at opening up a brand new business and you're starting your own company and you're embarking on something new and there's risks involved in that. My friend, you can do anything you set your mind to. I believe in you. But sometimes we have to be willing to jump into the deep end. We have to be willing to get on that diving board and kind of with a little bit of spring in our, you know, into our knees, into our hips. And all of a sudden, we just do it. We don't wait for three. We go on two or maybe one and a half because we know if we wait till three, we'll never do it. And it'll be four or five or six on the countdown. And then we'll walk back on the diving board going, oh, I could try again. And then we get stuck. Has that been your record lately? Has that been your DVD or CD? Your eight track, whatever you're playing in your head over and over and over again. I just, I just can't do, I I just can't. I can't manage this. You can. Remember, life is a magnificent adventure. And it awaits you. The windows are cracked. The doors are propped open. Are you willing to breathe in what God has in store for you? Are you willing to walk through the doors? Are you willing really to raise up those windows? Are you willing to say, yeah, for such a time as this? Take the plunge. Embrace the unknown, for it is within the unknown that extraordinary dreams come to life. Go in peace, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious, blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.